What's up dudes, Hold Fast here with something different today. We're going to be uh, going through a little bit of a tutorial on how to um, edit and save your Minecraft videos uh, recorded with Fraps. Uh, so basically we've, we've already done, we've already recorded our video with Fraps and I've brought it in by just clicking and dragging it into our Sony Vegas Pro uh, project media folder right here. And I've already clicked and dragged and brought it down. So let me just actually... Um, what we're going to do actually is I start a new a new project. So I click File, New, don't want to save those changes, and uh, this is just going to show you the, the settings that I use to uh, render my video. So uh, you can select and change these settings as much as you want, but basically what I have set up is um, I have a custom setup, which is YouTube. Uh, my width is seven or 1280 by 720 which is uh, basically 720p video, um, which is just as, which is great for uh, great for YouTube. 29.9 uh, .9 frames uh, per second. Uh, everything else is basically the same. Full resolution rendering, best, etc., etc. Et um, audio, just use stereo. If you guys have any other questions about what I what I use for any of these settings, um, let's take a quick look at. Actually, where is it? Um, basically, what I'm using here is internet, um, blah, 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 where's HD, uh, 720 settings, which uh, with a little bit of a, of a change, which I, can, which I can show you guys in a little bit. So you select that, open your new stuff, um, find your video file, which I'll just uh, we'll just take this one here, which is I think a video from yesterday. So this is directly from Fraps. I haven't changed it or touched it at all. So the first thing you'll notice is uh, on your screen here on your, on your um, preview you'll see two little bars on the side this is because fraps captures a little bit wider than what uh, what uh, 1280 by 720 gives you so first thing to get rid of that is uh, to just right click on your clip and you have to do this for every single clip so right click go to switches maintain aspect ratio ratio which kind of widens it out gives it that full look and uh, nice and full screen for uh, YouTube so no more bars on the side that look kind of look kind of dumb. Uh, the next thing you want to do is because it's a video game, you want to uh, disable resample. Basically, we'll get rid of any. Uh, let me see if we can notice any difference if I just play this. If I mute uh, the volume for a second, let's see. You'll notice a little bit of a just a slower. It looks a little bit slower and hazier in the preview. Uh, if we disable the resample. It looks a lot more cleaner and smoother. So those are the two main things you want to do to make your video look a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to be talking too much about audio because I do a bunch of stuff to the audio to get rid of some background noise and stuff like that. Um, but the next thing you can do is if, you, if you're using Vegas Pro, obviously click on this little tab right here called Video FX. Then select your brightness and contrast and you'll, you can select a very, or not very bright, sorry, just brighter. And you can see uh, in the preview how bright it is right now. If we click and drag this to right here, it will apply these settings to every clip that you have uh, selected down below. Uh, you can select it for just an individual clip, but this is just much easier for doing your whole video at the same time. And these are all steps that I usually do at the end. So you notice it's a lot brighter now, and I can toggle it on and off by selecting this, this check mark. Um, basically, what I usually use is 0 0.04 for brightness. That kind of brightens it up quite a bit. Um, makes a big difference when you're underground. You can see, just makes it look a lot uh, cleaner and crisper when you're um, underground or in the nether or end, wherever you are. Um, so we can end that, that's fine. So that makes it look a lot brighter, a lot, a lot nicer. The next thing I like to do is add sharpen. These are all things that you don't have to do, but just makes it look a little bit better. It makes your production value a little bit higher. Uh, we can use the uh, the light setting and again. Just click and drag onto your video, and uh, you'll notice a big change from that. Well, you might notice if you if you're watching on HD 720 right now, you'll notice the difference. Notice the lines are kind of blurry right now. If I s turn the sharpen on, you'll no notice how much crisper that the lines become. If I crank it all the way up, obviously they get super sharp. Gives it a weird little look. Um, what I rule of thumb here that I usually use is 100. And again, if I toggle that on and off, basically it just gives your menu here a little bit more of a of a crisper line, nice and sharp. Uh, you can go even as high as probably 150. It'll still look really good. You can toggle that on and off. You know, it's a nice difference. Kind of cleans up the lines, makes it look a little bit better. 
Um, and as always, what you want to do to any video is obviously fade it in a little bit at the beginning. This gives a nice little weep. My previews don't look as great because I'm, it's just a preview and I'm also uploading video as we speak. Nice little fade out there. Very simple to do. Just click and drag this little tab up the top and boop, and you've got a nice little fade out. Um, you can use a whole bunch of other um, color correctors and, and color balance things, but uh, for Minecraft, I don't think I don't really think you need a whole lot. Um, it looks fine just the way it is. And then when you're done, all you have to do is select your video like so. Um, just by clicking up here, you can click here, you can click anywhere, and it'll select a new part. And so we'll select our video, um, and when you're done, you just go to File, Render As, select where you want to save it, and then you can select um, your file type that you want to save it as. So since I don't have any audio, hold on, i got to turn the audio back on. Uh, render As, you'll see you can render just the audio, you can render all sorts of different files, but what I tend to use is Sony AVC. Uh, MP4, M2, TS, and AVC. Uh, MP4 is kind of the standard for YouTube, so that's always the best. Again, we're looking at my YouTube. This is a save template that I use, but we'll go custom just to show you guys. Uh, basically, I have it set to AVC for the video format. High definition, 1280 by 720. Um, profile high. Um, entropy coding, I use Cav LC, 29.97 uh, uh, frames per second, none for press progressive scan, Pis pixel aspect ratio is 1, bitrate is uh, 10 million. Render using GPU if available. If you guys have a good graphics card, then you can render using your GPU, or if you want to just use your CPU, and uh, then you can do that. Audio, I don't have much changed, sample rates for 800, etc, etc, ba pretty basic stuff. Um, MP4 file format, again pretty standard for YouTube. Um, video rendering quality, I use best, always, always is best. And if you want to use 3D, you can do 3D, but obviously you need a good, you need a, a 3D monitor and all that kind of stuff, but it's possible. So just select OK, and when you're done, a few things at the bottom, the little loop here that we did, this, these two little yellow arrows that you see, that is called a ren uh, Render, or sorry, that's called the loop region. So if you, you know, click cancel, if you only want to render half your video, if you just want that much to render, then you can just do that. Select render as, and make sure that you have this checkbox right here, render loop region only, and it'll only render what you have selected. If you want everything to, everything down there to go, then click render that. Another thing, make sure it's all the way, you got your whole video, make sure it's not longer, otherwise you get black parts in your screen, or in your video. We'll go to uh, Render As, select your file format, select your name, so we'll name it Test1. Select your template. If you don't want to set up your own like I just showed you, you can always just select Internet 1280 by 720, 30 frames a second. Um, and that should be it. You just click Save, and it'll render for you in half an hour, an hour, however long. Depends on your uh, how good your computer is and your video card and all that kind of stuff. And once you do that, then you can just upload it to YouTube. Um, I hope, guys, I hope that was uh, helpful. I hope you guys got some good uh, advice and tips out of that. If you guys have any other questions about how I render my videos or audio or anything like that, feel free to ask down below in the comments. And uh, just let me know what you guys think. If you have any other tips or advice for other YouTubers, then uh, feel free to say that below as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, we'll see you next time.